My friends, today's video is gonna be strange and hard for me to make. The first reason is because it's raining really hard on my metal roof and it's quite aggravating. And number two, I don't know the outcome of this video. Let me explain. I'm expected to know every outcome of every possible thing because I get comments like this. This man's a damn genius. Yeah, but he has an angelic face too. Yep, you're right, angelic face and genius. Not sure why the genius word gets thrown around so much. <laughs> New world record. However, the one question I don't know how to answer is who's going to win between the Milwaukee IA and the Milwaukee IA? I think it's time to do voiceover work because this rain, it's not real nasty. All right, so some background on what we're talking about. A couple days ago, the M18 Compact Brushless Impact Driver, I posted a short on the right and a couple of the viewers mentioned that they really weren't sure what the difference was between the M12 or why wouldn't I just go with the M12? What's the weight difference, the power difference, and just all around difference between the new M18 and the new M12. So I figured I'd put them in a tool duel, go head to head with each other and see which one you like best. But here's the problem. Sometimes I assume that my viewing audience already knows everything about the M12s and the M18s and the differences. And a lot of you do, but a lot of you don't. So let me just give you a quick breakdown. The M12 bat rays are much smaller than the M18. And what's nice about these tools is it allows you to come out with cool tools like this. You know, something that's not very heavy, very bulky. This is a three inch cutoff wheel. They're really cool tools. And then you got the M18s that are used on larger tools such as miter saws and the table saws and even your nailers, your belt sanders, your routers, just about everything else that a larger tool would need. Especially those high torque impact wrenches and the impact drivers and all that. But today I want to do a comparison between the M12 that I love and this tool is a great tool I use this to put up a lot of cabinets and all that good stuff very compact very lightweight but as many of you commented why would you buy the M18 when you already have the M12 well there are some differences so let me talk to you about the new M18 compact cordless. Now there's two different versions of this. The one I have here that doesn't have any mode selects, but you do have a variable speed trigger. And there's another one for $10 more. I'll leave a link in the description for everything that we are looking at here today. But the other one does offer a few more features for a couple dollars more, but let's look at size comparison. Obviously the bat ray on the M12 is much smaller. The base is much smaller. You also got the three LED lights up on the M12 and one light on the M18. However, where the new M18 compact shines, this is the palm of my hand. Look at the head of this drill, but by the call it, this thing is crazy freaking small. Just to give you a comparison, this is the M12. It's supposed to be the smaller tool, but the compact M18 is insanely small. Now, again, you do have the different features. You got the digital stuff up on top of the M12 and the M18 on this version. You don't really have anything, but again, there are two different versions of this where you're gonna have the selector switches down on the bottom. Now, before we use and abuse, let's talk about weight. The M12 by itself, you're looking at 1.58 poundage. Yeah, I know, my scale's a little dirty. Sorry, I work. But let's go ahead and take the M18 compact cordless and throw that up tool only, and you're looking at 1.7, that'll go up to four pounds. So 1.74 poundage for the tool only. And the reason why this thing's gonna be a little bit heavier, obviously, is because of the base itself. Now, this one does have the carrying clip or the belt hook on this but as you can see on the other one we do have the belt hook on that as well so the base gonna be bigger gonna make that tool a little bit heavier let's throw it on with a larger 4h bat ray though and in case you didn't know the 4h is like a mid-size you got the 6h and you can go down to a 2h which we'll try that but 2.48 pounds with the 4h that we, we will be using today's testing now we also got a 2.0 it's the m18 with that on the tool you're looking at 2.69 pounds so definitely a little heavier now, even though the M18 is about as light as we're gonna be able to get it, if you want to go even lighter, you can use a 1.5 M12 on there and it brings it down to 1.98 pounds, which is crazy light. Now, again, this is a comparison video. We're looking at collets. This one does not have a quick release or anything like that. So you have to pull out the collet, put that bit in. However, on the M12, you got the quick collet where it'll automatically snap in as soon as you push down. So that might be something that's pretty important to you. And I just want to put that out there. But what about driving power and speed? Well, if you're just using construction screws going down through a tree at six by six with no pilot holes, well, either one of them is gonna do just fine for you. You're not gonna be really able to tell a difference between the two if you hold them in your hands and you're driving these screws. They both have more than enough power to drive what you need to when it comes to just regular fastener screws and all that good stuff. 
However, the question still remains. If the M12 has that much more functionality to it and has a smaller base, lighter all around, is the M18 worth the buy? Is it more powerful? Does it run longer? Well, let's take a look. So when it comes to runtime, you do have a couple different sizes when it comes to the M12s. However, you're limited. With the M18, you can go from a 2 age all the way up to a 5 age M18, which is going to be a much larger battery, going to give you more power, less sag, and way more runtime if you really needed it. All right, so let's run a test real quick. I have a couple stainless steel lag screws that we're going to put down through this tree to 6x6 with no pilot holes. And to be quite frank with you, either one of these tools are meant to do this job. This is torturous on these impact drivers. That's why I like the lag screws. It's just, it generates heat. It shows the power, the speed, all that good stuff. So we're basically just going to race these impact drivers. If either one of them can make it down through, great. If they both do, great. Which one will drive it faster? Which one has more power? All that. Now on my left hand, I am using the M18. I am dominantly right-handed. So I'm going to use the M12, which some people say would give it an advantage. I don't know why I'm not pushing down on either one of these. However, that's how we're doing it. So on your right, it's going to be the M18. On your left, it's going to be the M12. Vice versa for me because of, you know, camera angle and such. Three, two, one, go. So you can see they both come out of the gate pretty strong. However, it's at this point where you're noticing a little bit of sag with the M12, whereas the M18, it just consistently goes at that same speed. The M12 slowing down a little bit, the M18 still going the same. So I'm not really sure how far down I am. So let's take that off. And you can clearly see way faster on the right hand side. I'm surprised that both of these are even doing that tight. It's true. It's not what they're meant for. It's a portrait test. But you can see it completely flush. It's still got a ways to go with the M12. So the M18 definitely going to have more power. Let's pull them up here real quick. So at first, when I was pulling those out, I, I love the smell of that woodage. Oh, that hot woodage. <laughs> oh. So really thought it was going to be a tie, but the M18 just blew it away once it started getting its RPMs up. And, and just that's why you want the M18 with a smaller size, if you ask me. So both did a great job. However, the M18, when it comes to speed and power, it's just going to win. All right, but what about price? Oh, by the way, the M18, definitely a little warmer. I think it was working a little bit harder. It's a little bit smaller, so that heat's a little bit harder to dissipate, where the M12, much cooler, but did not work as hard or as fast. All right, so price-wise, the cheapest I could find, I'll leave a link in the description below, 129 for the version that has the three-mode selector on it. Granger, for some reason, wants like 189 Why anybody still uses Granger? It, it makes no sense to me. For the one we showed today, only 119 Of course, these are tool only. The M12 that we use is usually 139 but at the time of this video, you actually get a free bat ray, so that might be the winner. In all honesty, both of these are excellent tools, and how small the head of that M18 is, it's just crazy how much power they can put in something that's that tiny. The M12 is just an all-around awesome tool to have. So I'm really curious to know what you think, which one you like better. Does it make sense to go with the compact M18 or just stick with the M12, or is a little bit of more power, a little bit more speed, that much more important to you? I love hearing that shui shui feedback, and if you want to see more videos, check that one out that I have in the bottom corner. We'll be back with more videos soon.